16 and 21, 15. Okay, so we're gonna move to the next one. For the number two, um, six, five. One, once again, um, this happened to me uh, in the money game uh, a week ago. I was with Akiko, but Akiko is not here. Anyway, uh, it was in Shred and Akiko suggested the blunder and uh, it cost me money, but it was okay. Um, okay, so this time let's ask the uh, audience, I mean ask the guest, what did you do? For example, uh, Frank, what did you do? I, I take the ball point. I, I, I hate this one because the, I liked the three solutions. <laughs> And I had hesitation on, on, on the three ten times. Finally, I, sh I chose to take the one point because ah. if, if I'm not hit, I think after it's not so easy to play for for, for black if they, they don't hit. And after I can make a lot of things with my, my other shakers. But finally, I think for sure since the beginning, I'm sure I'm wrong. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyone who chose the uh, same play with, with Frank, who makes uh, 18 points, Bob? Okay, how about the Sabri and me, and Amir? This is one of the rare answers I could get. Okay. Uh, I, it's, I ran with the city at the fourth, third hit. Okay. Uh, I thought, uh, if I do this, I will save for one roll, at least. Uh, I don't have to get, I, I don't get hit, and uh, I don't need to get, get, go enter, enter into the 4-point board. If I take a 7-point uh, anchor, uh, I have to get this uh, remaining checker. Uh, this problem uh, can get worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So I want to be sure for one rule. How about, how about Nikon Amiya, what did you choose? Um, I ended up choosing uh, to play to two actually, even though I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, so you <laughs> but, got the same answer. Yeah, uh, eventually, uh, um, to begin with, I actually took the bar point because I thought it looked really strong. But then I reconsidered since uh, Black has a four point board and uh, there's a good chance that he will go down and hit uh, as he has a stronger board. So uh, I changed my mind, but I thought it was a really difficult position. Um, so, yeah. Alright, Amino, what did you answer? Uh, I made a mistake and uh, I made uh, 80 points, uh, but I think uh, I should run to 15 uh, because of the gamble. Alright, so three of you picked 18 points and uh, Big and uh, Sabri chose to run. Is this correct? Correct. They ran differently. Alright, so. Uh, Oh, you, you, you played the two. Okay, so three split decisions. Um, I, I have to say, um, since I listened to Akiko-san, um, I chose 18 points, and which was a blunder. Thank you. You are sure? I'm not going to So the best play here is just run. Just play safe. Um, there's a reason behind it, um, which is, first of all, it's safe, <laughs> yeah? If you make 18 points, um, this is a mistake, this is a big blunder, but if you do this, now Black gonna attack with any threes, any fours, you know, and you can just dance, and you can get gamma quite easily. And plus, look at the, look at the pip count, you are still down like 32 pips. It's, it's way, way too much. So you have a good timing to play two-point game. You know, you, you, don't, you should not take any risk uh, in this kind of tip count. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, he has four-point ball with two builders. So this is uh, too dangerous. And also, 13-2, uh, as Nick, that Nick did, 13-2 is also dangerous because now you have remaining checkers on the ace point. It can be attacked quite easily, and you have inner blocks. So um, after the play, now Block has to make a play. Maybe Block has to come out from, from here, here. Then the White can hit maybe, or Block can save over there. Then White can, you know, 
uh, put some, some builders in, and you know, games can go on. And it's quite safe, nothing gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, uh, so this problem, um, although it looks very ugly, you have to stack uh, six checkers on, on the midpoint, but this is the right play. So score uh, one point for uh, something. Oh, you did already? And uh, yeah, every, everyone else got, got one. Okay. So next one would be problem number three. Um, this one is from my friend uh, in a training session. So why was six two? Okay, I, uh, let me just ask a uh, guess which you choose. Could you uh, put your hands up if you chose A? Nick, only you. Nick and Amir chose A. Oh, oh, three of you. Uh, is anyone who chose 24, 22, 13 to 7? Normal play? Okay. And nobody chose 24, 18, 13 to 11. Oh, Michi san, special guest over there. <laughs> Michi san chose uh, 5 blocks. And uh, this happened to be right. So, congratulations, Michi san, and you have to explain now. Uh, so here, uh, the 18 point is the key. Uh, who I definitely want that point. So he must put the checker there. And then uh, I just leave uh, uh, two bad checkers on the 24 point and the 22 point. Because uh, if he dance, uh, I can easily make the, make the 18 point. And uh, if he hit the check on, um, on the 18 point, still uh, I have many return shots. And uh, the check on the 11 point is, uh, of course, it's a very good builder uh, for the 5 points. Uh, that's the reason I chose that brain. Very good. <laughs> bravo, Yuki, bravo. <laughs> so, of course, over the board I chose. 13 to 7 makes the bar and uh, you know step up to this point. It's completely safe. I need a bar point, I need an anchor, so you know. How bad it can be, and it can be very bad. So the reason behind it is, as Michi pointed out, you know, I need to get out. I need to get out from the five prime. I am being prime. You know, look at this strong five builders. I want to get out. So this way, uh, you, uh, if he dance, now you have four builders here, and you have four and six to, to make the anchor. And even if you get hit, for example, five, two, seven, if you get hit, then you have uh, very many returns from the bar to hit this guy or make that anchor. Or also, uh, the guy on the 18 point is, is safe. I mean, it's not completely safe, but it's, that guy wouldn't get hit with deuce or three. For example, uh, say, say black or two, three from the bar, um, he cannot get, he cannot hit that guy because so many returns from the bar. So the eight, the guy on the 18 point is not so dangerous, and it's very useful when he dances. So that's why this looks very dangerous, but it's not because. Obviously, black board is not so strong. It still has only four, four, uh, two point board. Right, next. Okay, um, so no one from the guest can be this one right. The score remains the same. One, one, one. The next one would be problem number four. Oh my god, this one's the most uh, difficult one, I think. And uh, I really need explanation from the guest because I cannot explain this one. And uh, let's see. Um, so who chose uh, A? Could you put your hands up? Okay, Frank chose A. Who chose B? Amir. And who chose C? Sabri. Okay, okay. Three of you. You chose B. Oh, great, great, great. This is my answer. So, um, best play here is uh, she. To me, it's very difficult, so I'm gonna ask the guest why this is right. So, let's start from one there. Uh, I just used the, uh, the quiz factor. <laughs> because the first two answers, there's no real difference between them. So, 
that means that you have to speak loud. Oh, I'm sorry. The first two answers, there's no difference between them. Uh, they're both coming out in 20 to 16. And I can't really see any difference between the two plays, other two plays. So I figured it couldn't be either of those. Okay, okay. Uh, That's just quiz, quiz taking experience. Okay, Bob, uh, could you pass the mic to Nick? <laughs> okay, oh, Nick, give yeah. an explanation, please. Yeah, I'm not that clever, so I didn't really look at that uh, that way. I was basically looking at the race. Um, I thought by jumping out, the other two options, you give uh, way too many uh, hit options for Black, so there's a good chance for Black to get back in the race. By carrying in like I did, it, it looks ugly, but I mean, you're still up for 23 pips in the race, and uh, you have a good chance to, to run afterwards. Obviously, the Black will have a good uh, outfield connection next time, but yeah, you can you can hit some fly shots. Uh, it's not all your sixes you can move. Uh, so I mean, it's not like you have to run from the anchor for the first uh, many rolls. Uh, that's that's basically why I, I did that. Somebody, can you have anything to add? Uh, I did some elimination of the choices. But the, my main motivation was to use uh, my board. It's strong guy right now. And I have a spare checker. And this checker can move with fours and fives. So yeah. that I don't have to uh, use my six point to give more the fives. I have uh, my two, three and uh, ones from three and uh, space, space for my three and four points. So some of my sixes are blocked. So, uh, by uh, not giving a chance in, uh, in this row, next, uh, next turn I can jump one checker and give something on top of it. Use my uh, power as my stronger board to keep those checkers as a point outside out, outside board uh, of black. Then use the main <coughs> checker to move. Wow. That's my plan. Yes, thank you. Um, you have a very good point. Um, Sabri explain. Now, after this play, after the best play, White has four and five to come out. Yeah? And three and two, White can play here. And six is blocked already, so six you don't need to play. So there is actually almost no number that you have to break the five point. It looks like you are going to break the board, but it's not because now you, you, you can you can play four and five over there, three to here, and six it's blocked. And also, uh, the biggest reason why uh, coming out and here and leaving a block here or there is bad is that you can get hit. Basically, if you leave a block here or there and get hit, this is a disaster because now you have to deal with two blocks. Uh, you got hit and you are on the bar, plus you have a block in the 16 point. So you can lose quite easily. But at first glance, I did not understand why uh, this play can be right. You know, this, this is not my backup. I don't want to put checkers over there. So I played against computer uh, from this position like 10 times. Then I realized that, okay, uh, for, the, for the most games, I will come around, I get hit, but then I can enter on the five point board, I, I mean five point, then I can come around, maybe not get hit this time, then you know, this uh, go on and on and on and then this is I'm at 23 pips and I'm quite safe. But if I leave a block here and get hit right now, then I have two blocks to, to worry about. This is um, this is very bad actually. So this is only reason. Uh, I mean, this is the biggest reason why this ugly play is right. And plus, uh, as somebody pointed out, 4 and 5 is coming out, and 2 and 